I learned how to drive my cars from the time I was about six, seven. And there were evenings I used to come home from school uh, to use to, just used to wash my granddad truck as an excuse. But then I would take it, get some pillows and take it all through the back, through the cart roads and explore. And it was from there that I just knew that cars was everything that I love. Even when I go to sleep, I was, if I go from the kitchen to the bedroom, I was making a car noise. That was, that was just building me. My name is Justin Edward Antonio Campbell. Um, the Edward is actually, was actually named after my grandfather. And also my dad, his name is Antonio. So I guess those are the two names joined. My hobbies when I was young, um, I think the main sport that I was encouraged to play was cricket. I had, I guess, I, could, I had a talent. My dad used to tell me I had a talent for it. I never really had a passion. Uh, my hobbies were always motorsport, but obviously, uh, the schools, you couldn't really excel in that because there's no sport, there's no more sport in any school activities or, or what be cases. So I was forced to play cricket. Um, I did a little bit of athletics as well. Um, but as soon as I was finished, I was straight on to more sports again. I see myself in more sport in the next five years. If I'm not driving, I mean, five years is not a long time. Five years is just around the corner. But the way I see myself is actually probably, if I'm not driving, probably to be coaching. Um, and it's fine enough because my mom and I had that conversation probably last month or so when I started this project called Ray, helping uh, basically young people into motorsport. And she was like, why you don't start coaching children instead? Uh, you know, you could be, we have an off-road go-kart here in the yard, and you could do it at the yard into a little circuit, and you could actually help children. Uh, to develop the sport and you know it's no one does it down here and he thought about it but in five years if I don't have the sponsors I have now um, and can't afford a race anymore I think that's going to be my goal that I would probably go into coaching and see where I could actually inspire other youth and to help them and give them an experience and uh, still be part of the motorsport not going to go away from it but to to live through it live a dream through another kid What keeps me going and what keeps me motivated? The passion and the love, living my dream. Um, I, may not, I may not be paid for it. I may not be the Lewis Hamilton, but I'm the Justin Cameron in Barbados. I'm doing it and I'm doing it for my sponsors. I'm doing it for the fans. And I'm doing it that stories can be told about me even when I'm gone. So. I need to continue this and you can do this the best of my ability. CRT, we use Valvoline in the BMW because again, it, it suits our car perfect. Um, BMW is known as a reliable car. So as Valvoline, Valvoline is known as a re reliable product and oil. And we put it to the test for Rally Barbados. Um, but the oils that we use in the past, our oil temperatures used to skyrocket. And the oil used to break down after two days of rallying. Um, using the Valvoline, we didn't even have to change the oil. The oil body was still good, the viscosity was still great. And the temperature maintained. I had good pressures as well. And it allowed my engine to run smooth and allowed us to finish in the top 10 position of Rally Barbados because we felt, the, we felt a good oil in the engine. There's no engine at all. Currently we're using the synthetic oil um, in the engine. We are using the synthetic differential LS limited slit oil in the differential, and we're also using the coolant as well. And those three combined together are very good, even for our brake fluid. We're using the brakes, and for high performance brakes like this, you need something that will withstand those high temperatures. Um, Valvoline is doing it. And also for the gearbox, um, again, with the sequential gearbox, you're on a constant buying and constant gear changing, up changing, down changing, and the product does withstand that. And 
it's proven its track record to be very good and it's something that we're going to continue to use and we encourage other people to use it as well because the blue machine proved it that it is a very good product they used to call it a tank um, it was very heavy um, it wasn't the fastest but this bad girl taught me everything about the sport I knew now I know now um, this is where my struggles start and this is what helped Justin to develop to the person he is and to the driver that he is right now. Um, hopefully one day I promise to build her back so that my son or my daughter, they can actually race it. Um, they're going to keep this. I won't sell it. I mean, every day people ask if they sell it. And if I will sell it, I always tell them to sell my blue car first before I sell this. It has so much sentimental value to me and being it's my first ever race car. Um, and not going to part with it at all. I want to remember in motorsport, especially in Barbados and Caribbean, as this young individual who made an impact to his generation. Um, I don't remember it as the Justin Campbell that won his group in Rally Barbados. I want to be on that podium as same as Tiny Harrison, Freddie Mac. Those guys who set a trend in motorsport, who set the path for their generation and for the other generation. And that's what I'm currently doing. And that's what really inspired me to do my project called Ray, Rally Around the Youth. And that is the whole aim is to be an individual that people and young people can look up to and idolize, and be their hero. Um, I think stories like that will go a long way so that when my children come up or my nephews or nieces that they'll be proud to say Uncle Justin or that was my dad when they start to hear stories about the changes that he made in motorsport in his career and only if he could have done more you know those that's the sort of vibe and energy that I really want to feed off